everyone welcome back to rts and welcome back to a 15 minute mixer and today we're going to talk about some winners that i have to announce and a little bit of a flip through of some happy mail uh, some blessings that i got and then also a little bit talk about the channel and the updates and all that good stuff it's time to finally address it <laughs> because we need to yes so uh let's talk about the winners first because that's the most important thing <laughs> i think so anyways so uh we had a thanksgiving giveaway and i definitely want to thank all of you for being part of rts it means a lot to me so i have a winner and we had some thanksgiving goodies and then also <laughs> One of my lovely subscribers wanted to give something for uh, another subscriber. Isn't that sweet? And so I have, uh, I went to random, uh, YouTube random comment picker and the winner was Margaret Memories 2. And which is so interesting because I have something else to share that has to do with Margaret. So it was just Margaret's lucky day or maybe my lucky day, I should say. So Margaret, you are the winner of this Thanksgiving giveaway. So definitely reach out to me. My email will be listed below and congratulations. But uh, honestly, thank you for being such a great subscriber and a great commenter and just a great online scrappy friend. It really is wonderful that you know when someone gets picked that you actually know them. So that's pretty awesome. Yes. Now the second thing I have is that another one of my subscribers wanted to pay it forward and wanted to bless someone else with all these circle cutters, these templates. And so the random winner that for that was Crystal Williams, Crystal Williams. So you are the winner of these crystals. So reach out to me. My email will be listed below. I do have a new email. So reach out to me and I will get those sent to you. So have fun with these. <laughs> I mean, my subscribers are just amazing. Honestly, they truly, truly are. Now, speaking about amazing subscribers, <laughs> I have some things to show. And we're going to talk about some paper and a couple collections. One is by Echo Park and one is by Cardabella. And they were on my wish list for Christmas. And I have already been blessed with them. So I definitely want to do a little bit of a flip through. I haven't got to look at them yet. I didn't open them uh, till uh, just a minute ago. So I haven't looked at them. So we're going to see what we think of these collections. And so this first one is Echo Park Little Lumberjack. Now this is such a unique line. It's, oh, it's just absolutely unique. It's by Lori Whitlock. Of course, we love her work. And this is by Echo Park, and so this was a fall release. And so how this came about is that um, some of my subscribers used me as a referral for a cherry on top, and so they notified me and said, you have these cherries, and so I cashed them in and I got this for free. So thank you to my subscribers who uh, refer me to a cherry on top because they do indeed contact me and they let me cash those in for free products. So my email is listed below. If you want to use me as a referral, that is awesome because you'll definitely see a lot of these items coming up <laughs> in 2020, I'm sure, but I'm enamored with this little lumberjack. And so there were three collections that had my eye and this was one of them. And so we're just going to do a flip through of it. And of course, you know, it's Echo Park. What's not to love? <laughs> I love this. And so I will definitely keep this manufacturer sheet and I keep it in the front and then what I do is I put the stickers right after that and let's just look at these stickers now this color scheme is definitely outdoor woodsman camping <laughs> manly oh my goodness I mean it definitely has a color scheme of of course the buffalo check and the red and the black and the brown and the gray I just really like it. I really, really do. And it's interesting. It says axing for trouble, which that's a very cute play on words. But as I was traveling uh, down south recently, I absolutely saw a place where people go in. And that's what that's what this whole um, building was for. It was entertainment for axe throwing. I did not know it was so popular that people are absolutely creating these businesses where you can go in and it's entertainment. I'm sure they have tournaments. Who knew that axing was such a thing. I thought you just saw it at Renaissance fairs, but isn't that fun? But anyways, let's get to the paper. Why not? Look at that. <laughs> Love that. And so, of course, this will just go in my outdoor section. You know, that's okay. But this is really, really up my alley. And I really <laughs> I can see so many pages with this. And so I did in the SOS series, I talked about this. And I think I only got one or two sheets of this. But there are a couple sheets that if you were only going to buy one or two of them, 
this would be it. Look at that. Really, really nice. Oh, yes. I need 20 of those in my life. That is really, really pretty. Oh, man. I just love that. And look at that. Very, very nice. Look at this plaid. So thank you to my subscribers who have used me as a referral for a cherry on top. I love a cherry on top. They uh, stay in such contact with their customers about product. They are always great for new releases being um, on their website, usually before anybody else. And I love the setup of their website. They're just a great company. They really, really are. And they have great challenges too. So definitely head over and look at the challenges they offer. Look at that. <laughs> love this. And I can definitely see this in Epcot in Canada. Uh, Canadian. <laughs> in Canada uh, for the Canadian motifs and stuff. I, that's what I see. When I, when I see that, that's what I think. And of course, another plaid. So you know what I'm saying? If you like those outdoor images, masculine pages, and plaid, this is the time to get them. You don't have to get the whole collection, but definitely you look even better with a beard. <laughs> that is too awesome. Love it. Oh, I can't wait to play with this. Isn't it amazing how a simple piece of paper can make you giddy? And I will tell you, that is the truth. I can be simply giddy with a piece of paper. I get giddy thinking about paper. I get giddy thinking about getting paper in the mail. Oh, yes, absolutely. And I know some of you know what I'm talking about because we talk about that. This is just a really great line. The color scheme is limited, but there's a lot of topics you can do with this. And since the colors are neutral you can put a lot of different photos with this. They don't have to be all red, black, and gray. And look at the animal tracks. <laughs> we have moose, deer, squirrel, otter, coyote, fox. Oh my gravy. This would be awesome for my dad with his trail camera photos. Oh man, love it. Of course, there's the B-side. Oh, it's called animal tracks. Okay, so that was Little Lumberjack. Little Lumberjack by Lori Whitlock, Echo Park. So thank you, subscribers. That was a very special gift. And when I think of this, when I see this, and I'll think of all of you. So thank you for that. I really, really appreciate that. I guess I shouldn't have took that long. But, you know, it's paper. I love when people give me their opinion of paper. Because then I know whether it's what it seems to be on the computer. So the next one is Home Again. And this is by Jen Allison. And she is doing some designs for uh, Cartabella. And if you remember, Jen Allison did a lot of My Mind's Eye designs back in the day and they were some of the better lines that my mind's eye had now she's with Cartabella. my heart is happy yeah <laughs> yes i was so tickled to see that she's designing so of course there's a the manufacturer sheet and of course you know with Cartabella and echo park they have not changed their paper weights since they started so that is what makes them stand out in my opinion and of course here's the sticker sheet now, I love this, not only is it because it's farmhouse, but because it has jadeite pieces, and I am someone that I collect jadeite. And so, I have that right there. <laughs> yes, I have that exact cake stand. I just love it. So, this was a gift from Margaret. You know, the gal who just won the Thanksgiving giveaway? Yes, she gifted this to me. So, thank you, Margaret. That was so unexpected and so very sweet of you. And I just sometimes can't get over every single day I get an email or something from a subscriber thanking me for what I do and truly it's the other way around and I don't want to say too much about that but it truly is the other way around thank you so let's just look at this and love on this home again <laughs> oh man <laughs> I can see so many pages oh and of course it's Cartabella textured now that that image is kind of hard uh but you could I don't know. Would you want to sacrifice that? You could. You could do a happy horizontal. Use half the wood grain. And then what I would do is I would fussy cut or uh, do a simple shape of those flowers. I would forget that truck. Unless you were doing a Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> layout. Okay, I'm getting too silly. And then we have this beautiful floral. And look at that gingham and jadeite. Oh, I could take a bath in that. That is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Of course, there's the cut aparts. There's the cake stand. And you can see this definitely has the farmhouse feel. And then look at the back. Oh, lovely. My mind's eye recently had a paper just exactly like that. 
And of course, this is beautiful. This would be great for a wedding page. So even though this is home again, you could do so many different topics. You could use this for an outdoor page. You could use that for a wedding page. Yes. Or if you want a lot of embellishments, that would be great for 99 cents. Yeah. Okay. And look at that beautiful floral. Mm, that says Charleston. And look at that. There's your wood grain. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but those magnolias... So you see what I'm saying? You could fussy cut them, and for 99 cents, you're getting quite a few of those magnolias. If you were to buy them a die cut pack, it would cost you $4.99. So I really look at papers a little different now, especially when embellishment packs are going up and up and up in price. I just can't afford five, six, seven dollars for an embellishment pack. And of course, there are some border strips. That is really, really pretty. Oh, man. And look at that. And so, you know, sometimes when we do a layout, we're always so worried about matchy-matchy. I did that for years. And I just want to show you something. In this collection, there's green. But then look at this other green. It's, it's two different tones, two different shades. But it's in the same collection. So, that matchy-matchy, completely out the window. <laughs> we don't need to pay attention to it anymore. And you'll see white and ivory both in this collection. Again, something else we don't have to follow. Love that. And I love that. This is a great piece of paper for 99 cents. If you wanted to just get one, you would have a lot of embellishments and then you could use them for gift tags. That's well worth 99 cents. And then look at that. Very, very pretty. So I will tell you something when it comes to shopping for me and we'll talk more about this in the SOS series coming up, is that when I'm paying 99 cents, I won't pay 99 cents for something as basic as this because I tell myself, if I'm going to spend 99 cents, get something that I don't already have. I already have striped paper in my stash. So that's just something I keep in mind when I'm shopping. <clears throat> Sorry, I might have to get a drink here. And of course, these beautiful 4 by 6 cut apart. I have trouble using this size but I would have no trouble using that wood grain and using this as a layering piece on a layout. And pretty little bows. That looks like Maggie Holmes in a way. And then beautiful florals again. This would be happy horizontal if I ever saw one. <laughs> yes, unless you could use this image. But even if you could use this image, happy horizontal and this could be a page and that could be a page as well. Okay, and then again, beautiful floral. And I'm sure there's a letter board here on the back. Of course, that's a great for a title page or an ending page. Oh my goodness, you know what I just thought. Wouldn't this be good? Oh, oh my goodness. Just wait a minute, I had a thought. Wouldn't this be good for a month in review album? Oh my goodness, I may have to think about that. So hold on for that thought. Okay, and then of course, because that would be really, really great for the front of a title page in your album. And you could use white letters. Okay, yeah, okay. And this is just gorgeous. I can't say anything else, but this is gorgeous. I want 10 sheets of that. And that is so usable. So, so usable. Now, this is worth 99 cents. I wouldn't pay 99 cents for this. That just comes along for the ride for me. But that, that's gorgeous. So, thank you, Margaret. Very, very kind of you. And you know what, Margaret? I think I may use this for a month in review for 2020. What a great use of a collection for that. Hmm, have to think about that. So thank you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so now let's talk about the updates and changes coming to YouTube and this channel because there are changes coming to YouTube as a whole. And so to make a long story short, there are many layers to this cake. And so I'm going to try not to talk about all these different layers because it's such a mess. It's so complicated and it affects basically everyone, whether you create content or you watch content or in my case, both. So changes are coming and it's inevitable. And so it's time to face the music. So when it comes to the FTC and the copper rolling, I have no trouble following that. Uh, FTC has put out guidelines and and they have uh, stated what the ruling is. You got to comply with it. Uh, bing, bang, boom. There it is. You have to comply with it. And so then every day or every week, they keep coming out with more clarifications because they want to educate us and they want to be educated themselves so that this ruling can maybe perhaps be updated to follow 
way uh, we access and use technology nowadays. So I think when the smoke clears and the dust settles, I think that truly will work its way out. I really do. The next layer of the cake that I have a trouble with, uh, the one I'm hung up with, the one I'm hung up on, is the new terms of service here at YouTube, which just went into effect a couple days ago. And the commercially viable clause that's now in terms of service, that's basically already been in there as far as they could get rid of our channel anytime they thought was reasonable, but now commercially viable. So if you don't monetize, does that leave us anywhere? Who knows? We're not getting any answers for them. Uh, and then the other thing is that now in our terms of service, we are now liable for our content. And I will tell you folks, that makes me nervous. I, I'm not nervous as to what I provide here because I do consider myself family friendly content. Uh, and I'm proud of that. We're not supposed to be prideful people, but I'm proud that people can sit down with their grandchildren and do a hobby. I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. But what I don't, what I don't feel comfortable with is YouTube, AKA Google, being a data collecting business, but I'm held liable for that. That, I just have a real problem with that. And so, you know, I have to come up with a backup plan. So my first backup plan is because I have marked my channel as made for kids. And how did I come up with that? So what I did was I consulted three people. And so I consulted someone from the legal standpoint, someone from the crafty standpoint, you got to have someone who knows the lingo and then someone from the social marketing standpoint. And so I presented all the information to them and to, and then also how I feel YouTube will be headed in the future. And so all three of those gave me the same answer. And that answer was that I do have to mark for now until more clarification comes, I do have to mark my channel as made for kids. And so what does that mean? That means that you will not be notified of any new video that I put up. It won't be in your recommended listing. There's no um, end screens and community tabs and stories. And some of those things I don't even use anyways. But the comments, the comments is the big thing for me. So what I did was I have a new email. It's listed below. Make a note of it and reach out to me. And, you know, maybe we can get some more clarification in the future. But, um, you know, people won't be able to comment on the videos. You probably won't even be notified of a new video. I don't even know if videos will be popping up in our subscription list. Who knows? The notification uh, setting has not worked for many months, so I don't rely on that. I do go to my subscriptions and then I look to see if anybody has posted a video. So who knows if it'll even be shown on there. So basically you'll just have to go and see if I have posted a video. So. That's how that will work um, from here on out, uh, here on out for now until we get more clarification. But I will tell you, I am hung up on the terms of service until we get more clarification from YouTube. That has not happened. And so we will see how it goes. But I will tell you one thing I am excited about. I am excited about that, uh, and I've been uh, scrapbooking for over 20 years. There's always a way for crafty people to come together. There's always a way. We always find a way because we're crafty, resourceful people. We always find a way to come together. And I will just say that uh, my backup plan is that uh, people can no longer leave comments on my videos, but you can still reach out to me and stay in contact that way and send encouragement. I love that. And then also to suggestions and what you liked about the video. I, I always enjoy that. So definitely uh, utilize that email. It will be listed below. And then the other thing I want to talk about is that I am taking a break from YouTube, but in all fairness, I was scheduling a break from YouTube because I just simply wanted to take some time off for the holidays. And so it's just that with all of these layers of the cake that keeps coming every week, there's something new. It just kind of pushed up that break a little sooner than I planned. And it will probably prolong that break a little longer than I planned. It's just what, you know, for now, what I'm going to do. But I will tell you, I am excited for 2020. I have a lot of content planned. I have a lot of series planned. I have some really great fun things that I would like to do for myself for scrapbooking. And so I will be doing videos somewhere. 
<laughs> we'll just figure out if it will be here or someplace else. It's just uh, working on that backup plan and seeing how YouTube will handle things in the near future coming up in January. And then also to going forward, because I do believe in my heart of hearts, there are other changes coming to YouTube. There is some more layers to the cake coming we just haven't been notified of those changes yet. And that may not happen for another seven to nine months or another year, but there are more changes coming. The FTC has also stated that YouTube will have to change their business model. So we will see how all of that plays out. So I hope that wasn't too lengthy. I tried to concise all of that. <laughs> Believe me, I could have said a lot more, but I want to keep my personal opinion to myself. I don't feel that uh, YouTube has been forthright in this issue. And, um, you know, what can you say? What can you say about that? Uh, I really, I guess you shouldn't say anything. I, I just, I just don't think they've been forthright. And I think they threw us under the bus. I think they threw us under the bus, whether you're someone who creates content for YouTube or whether you've watched and enjoyed content here on YouTube. I think they completely threw all of us under the bus, my personal opinion only. So with that being said, there are changes coming here to the channel. Uh, just bear with everything until we figure out everything. And as I said, as crafters, as scrapbookers, we always find a way to get together. And so I will also have Deborah's Facebook group listed below. Uh, I will pop in and out of there uh, and see what everybody's doing. And that's a great place to hang out because they share a lot over there. So that is what I wanted to share in this mixer, the winners, and then also to some blessings that I got in the mail. And then also to the update for now, that's just what we're going to have to do. And so I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a happy new year. And I hope you have a wonderful, safe, happy, joyous holiday season. And you know what I'm going to say. Come back to RTS because you never know what we're going to do.